Welcome to another video guys. Uh, what I've got for you today is a, a mini JCW. It's a 2016 car, so it's the later shape. Uh, so the slightly bigger one. Uh, they're a bit heavier than predecessors, slightly larger, but overall they're still a fantastic car. Uh, I mean, a standard this one from the factory, it came with 228 brake horsepower. Now the actual car I've got here today is uh, running a little bit more power. I think it's around 290 brake horsepower. It's got a tune on it from the highly reputable Mulgari tuning. Now I know a lot of people have said at stage two, you can be running, should be running over 300 horsepower, but Mulgari aren't all about chasing numbers. And if anybody in the car scene knows anything, I mean, they, you know, it's not all about numbers. It's about how the power is delivered. And this thing delivers the power very, very nicely. Uh, it's got a few, uh, it's got quite a lot of the options, not even a few, it's got quite a lot of the uh, optional extras from the factory, apart from the folding mirrors and the panoramic roof. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a well-spec'd car, sounds good, and yeah, so what we'll do is we'll take a walk around the car, I'll go through a few of the things that I can remember, and yeah, we'll go for a drive. So hopefully you'll, en you'll enjoy the video, uh, give us a thumbs up, give subscribe to our channel, uh, we're still new, so still growing, and that, will, that would be appreciated massively, uh, and uh, what we'll do, we've got plenty more YouTube content to come, everything car-related, performance cars in general uh, and in the summer when the weather picks up a little bit we should be should be getting onto the motorbike scene too so yeah so basically subscribe to our channel give us a thumbs up share the video and uh, yeah hope you all right so here it is 2016 mini jcw and as you can see it's a nice looking car to be in my opinion they're a bit bigger than the predecessors and a bit heavier, but with the whole styling package, and especially with this one, it comes with the JCW Pro tuning and styling. And it's quite a, um, quite a nice, nice car to be, to be fair. I've never been much of a miniman myself, but I've driven a fair few of them and they're, they are quite literally, as uh, Mini say, uh, they're a go-kart. And especially with a bit more power, they're, they're quite good. I mean, this example, is fitted with a two litre turbo engine so it's 228 brake horsepower as standard it's got the, the front wheel drive cars uh, this has had a couple of uh, handling modifications so it comes with the i-back uh, lowering springs it's got i-back anti-roll bars uh, standard jcw wheels the 18 inch five spoke alloy wheels red brake calipers on the back the bigger JCW brake calipers on the front and this is fitted with, if I remember correctly, the performance friction brake discs on the front so the stopping power is awesome. It's got Pirelli tyres on it, run flats I believe. Yeah, they're a, they're a hard tyre but they're not, too, they're not too bad. You get used to it to be, to be fair. Um, and yeah, it's got the additional uh, LED fog lights fitted as well. And the previous, I mean, the previous owners had a few bits and bobs done so i mean modification wise it's got so the v-bar behind the front bumper has been wrapped in red alongside the red little trims at the bottom of the bumper they do make it look a lot better than standard the standard they've got a bit more of a stealthy look to them uh, the grill's been wrapped in like a carbon effect paper makes it look a lot better quite a lot better to be fair it's got obviously your normal led headlights um, it's got a carbon fiber petrol cap cover on there and the 2017 onwards JCW the Union Jack rear lights um, they, they're a massive improvement over the standard lights as you can see they look they look great especially in the dark they look they look very good everything on the back end it's got the John Cooper works badge standard stuff the rear um, boot trim things been wrapped as well in like a carbon fiber effect it's got the stealth edition badge on there as you've probably heard of mulgari tuning have done their magic on this and now this has had a fair bit of money spent on it the previous owner did actually spend in excess of right seven eight thousand pounds on getting everything done to this car and i must say he's made it look a lot greater than standard a lot greater than standard it's, it's even got like the union jack decals on the roof 
And what I believe the standard exhaust is very quiet on these things. But this also has the JCW Pro exhaust. Now I believe this is something along the lines of like a £2,000 option and it's, it's awesome. It comes with its own remote control, Bluetooth remote control, so if I press that twice you'll hear it. There you go, the exhaust is actually switched on now and now it's turned off and it's all done at the touch of a button. So it's back on. It sounds awesome, it crackles, it pops in this mode. It's got an aftermarket steering wheel, a lot better than the standard. Standard ones are too thin, um, too, too thin and too narrow. It's got the full leather interior as opposed to the standard bucket seats, the heated seats. And again, they've got the Union, Union Jack stitched onto them. And what we'll do is we'll go for a little drive and you'll get a feel of uh, what the car's all about. Right, so here we are. We'll just go for a little drive and uh, I'll give you a little bit of general feedback as to how I feel this car drives and uh, just the overall few little brief description of what's actually cracking off inside of the cockpit as well. Um, I mean, this is fitted with a few, quite a few of the options and if I remember correctly, it's uh, all the options bar the folding mirrors and the panoramic sunroof. I mean, I'm driving it at the moment in sports mode with the exhaust valves opened there's no drone in the car there's no nothing it's it's actually a nice car what they even tell you is on the screen when you go into sports mode it actually tells you um you know you're in uh, the go it basically it's a go-kart mode and to be fair they've got that bang on it's uh, these cars do feel like a go-kart they're very they're just, even considering even I mean, with the size difference compared to the uh, previous model, they're still a very small car, very nimble, very agile car. You point them in the direction and they go. Um, yeah, and uh, with it being a bit bulky, you'd imagine performance will be affected, but no, I'd, I'd say they, they are, they're still, they're still quite good to be fair, even in standard form. I mean, as previously mentioned, this one's got a, uh, Mulgari tuned stage two tune, so it's not running standard sort of uh, power, but it still it feels it feels very very good to be fair. It's yeah, just shy of 300 horsepower. Goes well, sounds good. I mean the whole the whole thing but with this aftermarket steering wheel as well it it's, it's a very nice very nice wheel to grip very nice place to drive and it's it's got the red marker at the top of the wheel so you can you always know where the center point on the actual wheel is so that's a good thing and with regards to the options uh, this is this car's got now don't quote me on these but if I right in thinking the it's got LED headlights it's got sat nav, the pro nav, so it's got the wider screen. It's got the reverse camera, and it's all accessible through your onboard uh, computer here. Um, and it's also it's got like your heated leather seats, your normal stuff, your dual climate control, cruise control, auto lights, wipers, and you know all the usual stuff that cars have nowadays. It's got all of that. Um, yeah, I mean, at the moment, uh, apologies, it is getting a little bit dark, so I've got the interior light switched on. I mean, it's got the, the mood lighting was another big thing for the Minis, uh, a feature that Mini introduced many years ago in the previous models. And it was a very good feature. It was a very big hit with uh, a lot of the owners. And they've done, this, they've done a very similar thing with this car as well. You've got, you can change the lights to suit your mood. And behind the door handles, it's got the mood lighting thing around the actual center clock. Um, and if, 
on the roof there, there's a couple of little lights flashing down on there and you can change all the colors to suit your suit, whatever mood you, you're in. Um, and yeah, but what they've also done with these cars is because this has got the sat, sat nav option, it's got the big center screen in the middle and it's got the reverse camera all on the actual screen. But what they've also done is you can set that so it's, it acts as a kind of a rev limiter. And as soon as you get higher up the rev range, it just flashes at you to change gear. And I mean, that's, I think personally, that's, that's, that's a great thing to have. I mean, you can get shift lights in a lot of cars nowadays, but you don't have anything similar to this. And it's a great feature to have, very great feature to have. Um, so yeah, I mean, it drives, it's, it's very directional. You put your point in the direction and floor it and it's, it, it's planted and it goes. It's not a four wheel drive car, so you got to expect with a front wheel drive thing, it's, it's actually very good for a front wheel drive car, I must admit. I must admit, I mean, with the tune that this car's got on it and all the options and all the extras, the modifications that the previous owner had carried out, he's done a very good job of an already quite an impressive car. I'll show you a little. And it's also in sports mode. Oh, you can, I don't know if you heard that, but the exhaust is crackling and popping, it does all of that as well. And here we go. And another thing that they've done is when you when you're in sports mode and you're shifting down, you're shifting down a gear it automatically rev matches. And I think that's that's an awesome thing to have. I know the FK8 Civic Type R's and the FK2's had it as well and it was a very, very good feature. I've had a few Scoobies and I've driven a few cars that have had that feature and it's, it's a great thing to have. And I must admit, it adds to the whole, it adds to the whole package, the whole feel of this car. It's a fantastic car, I must admit, it's a fantastic car. Uh, so, Mini, if you're, into, if you're after a Mini, I highly recommend one of these. They're a great car and as you probably, they're very popular as well amongst a lot of the youngsters and elders alike. And they did have this little stereotypical image on the basic, more basic models, a bit of a girly car, but the JCW model with a few mods is, is a very, very good car. And I won't turn away from one if you're in, in the market for a small hatchback. It's, I'd say it's, more, it's far superior than its competitors, but they are also priced a bit, bit more expensively than the competitors. Uh, I mean, this car at the moment, if I'm right in thinking, it's about a 17, 18,000 pound car with all the options, with the modifications. And I must admit, you're not gonna have much more fun. If you're not chasing numbers and power figures and stuff, you're not going to have much more fun in, a different, in another small hatchback style car. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great car overall, fantastic car, and uh, it's just a brief overview of the car. So I hope you like the video. Uh, like I said, apologies for the lighting, it's uh, getting a bit dark now. And obviously with the winter months, it's time's very restricted to what I can and can't, cannot do as well with the commitment. So yeah, I hope you like the video. So give us, a, give us a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel, um, and yeah, help us grow. We've got plenty more content to come. Uh, there's a, a fair few other cars that I've, I can get my hands on that I can vlog just to show you guys. So yeah, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for future videos. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.